Hey everyone. I just want to record this video real quick because I redid one of my old apps and I rebuilt it in Flutterflow and took, I would say like about a week or so. And I implemented a bunch of features that were part of my other apps. And yeah, so I just wanted to share one in particular that was pretty hard to figure out, which was creating custom dialogues or, you know, little pop-up boxes on map markers on the map view. So let's get into this real quick. Basically, this is just an app to find people to play disc golf with. It shows information, people playing where, and you can join. So if we go to our cards here, we have a map view, these cards, and we go where we can find one. Where we get, so we click and we get this information. So it was like, I created this one and I'm playing at 8.30 AM on Thursday and there's two out of four people playing. So go and like, or, and there we go. We see, and you all created this card, uh, John joined it. All right, great. So how did I do this? All right. So here we are on our map view. And as you can see, it wants a list of Latin longs. So what I did was I created this custom function. It basically searches through my JSON list, so my cards list items, so it's through them and it creates an array and adds all the Latin longs without the other data to this list. Okay. And that's how we get the metrics to go up. All right. But how do we get the, the custom dialog boxes based on that? So we're using this technique right here where we're going to be on, on marker tap, we're going to trigger that, that dialog box. Right. And so how are we going to pass our information? How do we know? Because all we have is a list of Latin longs. Now we lost the other data. So how do we map it back together? So I created another custom function that basically has takes in the Google Maps. So the, the way that I was able to do it is because of the, this setting, right? If we go down, it's a center map on marker tab. So by doing that, we basically get access to the exact Latin long of that marker. And then we can search through like our other list that had the lat long and the other information about it. And then we can map it together and then pass it to, to the card. So we have the card object here and then we have the card details map. And so if we go into that, we're just getting that entire JSON card object, which includes the lat long and all the other details. And we just map it or find it the way we always do. And that way we have a functioning map view with markers. Now here's an, here's an issue when you hit back basically and a pull up that because it's essentially not finding it because it's not centered on it. There's certain scenarios where you're going to get the grid box based off of hacking it. And that's fine. I mean, it's, it's really not too bad, but until they can add more functionality for using JSON more features to this actual widget. This is how we're going to have to do it for now. It looks good in my opinion and it's not too bad, but yeah, that's essentially how you get this functionality working and I'll, I'll go through and basically show a bunch of other stuff because yeah, so like to have instant chat working and some other cool custom functions and features in this app, like where it'll filter based off near me, which this works in production. I have this on the app store and it works, but it doesn't work in the browser. And here are the custom functions. I'll go ahead and either leave these in the description or you can message me, DM me, and I'll send them to you. Also, I did create a discord specifically for the Xano Flutterflow stack and people are joining up because I keep getting messages from all types of people who are interested in it or who are already using the stack and need help. So I created a discord and if you'd like an invite, just DM me, let me know what you'd like to see next.